If you're brand new to building your credit or you're 18 years or older and you're not sure which credit card companies to start with, then you're right on time. In this video, we're gonna break down the top three credit cards that you should start with building your credit and what banks to build relationships. We're also gonna talk about which credit cards you need to stay away from because you're gonna start getting offers from them right away. Let's get right into it. The first credit card on our list is gonna be Capital One Platinum Credit Card. Now to get this credit card, you don't really need a credit score, but if there's any credit score that we've seen preferably is that you don't have to have a credit score at all, but we've seen some people get approved like 600 620 uh, essentially if you as long as you have anything that's like above about a 580 or so you should be fine but we've also seen a ton of people get approved with this credit card with having no credit score at all now obviously if you've had capital one in the past and you didn't have the best relationship with them then you may have some issues so if you're brand new to starting credit you should not have any issues getting approved for this credit card the average limit that most brand new people building credit end up getting is as low as $300 and as high as a about a thousand dollars and again that is the capital one platinum credit card by the way if you haven't done so already be sure to go ahead and scan this qr code to download our free ebook today you can also click the link in the description below all right so let's go into the capital one platinum credit card into more detail okay now unfortunately this card does not offer any cash back miles points or any type of rewards but you do get a zero dollar annual fee this is gonna have a regular APR of 29.99%. And as we mentioned, 580 or so should get you where you need to be. But if you're brand new to credit, you've never established credit, essentially you're at zero, you can get approved for this credit card as well. A couple of highlights about this credit card. As we mentioned, there is no annual fees or any hidden fees. And you can see if you're pre-approved in seconds, okay? Next, you will be automatically considered for a higher credit limit in as little as six months. And my favorite perk about this credit card, and it's not even mentioned in the highlights, is that you can add up to five authorized users at no additional charge. This means that you'll be able to actually help someone build their credit. Now, this needs to be a friend or family member or someone that's close to you, as if you keep adding people and removing people in a short period of time, what's gonna happen is the credit card company is actually gonna remove you from that credit card or close the account out altogether. The next card on our list is gonna be a Discover It Cashback credit card. Now this one needs a credit score of anywhere between a 620 to about a 650. The average limit we've seen was about 300 on the low end to about 1500 on the high end. Now, can you get a higher limit? Absolutely, after using the card over a, a period of time. Also, it depends on what your credit score and your credit profile is when you're actually applying for the credit card. And one perk that a lot of people like about this credit card is that it does give you cash back as well. All right, let's go into the Discover It Cash Back card a little bit into deeper details. Detail, okay now you can earn 5% cash back on everyday purchases at different places that you shop each quarter like grocery stores restaurants gas stations and more up to the quarterly maximum once you activate now you also get an unlimited 1% cash back on all other purchases and there's nothing additional you have to do for that that's going to happen automatically all right now you also get an intro offer as well you get unlimited cash back match for all new card members and that's only from discover discover will automatically match all the cash back that you've earned at the end of your first year there's no minimum spending or maximum rewards so essentially you could turn 150 dollars cash back into 300 dollars all right now, this one also has a $0 annual fee, and it has a regular APR of 17.24% and as high as 28.24%. Now, we didn't talk about this on the Capital One card, but this is on credit cards in general. You want to try your best not to carry a balance, especially starting out as building your credit, because essentially they're going to charge interest when you're not able to pay the balance in full. So if you swipe your credit card, make sure that you are able to go ahead and pay that balance in full in 30 days or less or before the statement date. Now, for the credit score that you're going to need for this is like we mentioned about 620 or so it says 670 just because they're being safe the more history that you've had with a credit card or any type of credit line you know prior to this is most definitely going to make it easier to get approved for this credit card so if you go with capital one platinum as your first card you wait about two to three months and then you end up getting this card you'll have no problem getting approved for this credit card let's go over some of the highlights for this credit card as we already mentioned the introductory offer they're going to automatically match all the cash back that you've earned at the 
the end of your first year. There's no minimum spending or maximum rewards. And essentially, you can turn $150 cash back into $300, okay? You're also going to get the 5% cash back on everyday purchases at different places that you shop. We went over that. And then you also get the 0% intro APR for 15 months. So the first 15 months, they looks like they won't be charging you any interest anyway. So just so you all know that. But of course, you know, after that, there will be interest as low as 17.24% and as high as 28.24% as well. All right, the next card on our list is going to be the Capital One Quicksilver Student Credit Card. Make sure it is the student credit card, okay? Now, this one does not need any credit score. You can have limited credit, no credit, zero credit. You will most definitely be approved. You will have to show proof that you are a student in college, okay? Now, the average credit limit that we've seen for this card is usually anywhere between 300 to about $500. It depends. Some people sometimes get more, but the average we've seen is about 300 to $500. Now, let's go into the perks of this credit card. All right, so some of the perks for the Capital One Quicksilver Student Cash Rewards credit card is that you'll be able to get 10% cash back on purchases made through Uber and Uber Eats plus complimentary Uber One membership statement credits all the way through 1114 of this year, 2020. 24. You're also going to be able to earn unlimited 1%, 1.5% cash back on every purchase every single day. All right. Now you also get a $50 introductory offer. So essentially this is an early spend bonus. You're going to earn $50 once you spend $100 in the first three months. Now this also has a $0 annual fee and it also has a regular APR of 19.99% on the low end and as high as 29.99% on the high end. As we said, there is no recommended credit history, okay? So a couple of highlights that we just mentioned. One and a half percent cash back on every purchase every single day. Guys, that's huge. All right. Now, you also get the early spend bonus that we just mentioned as well. When you're able to get fifty dollars, once you spend one hundred dollars in the first three months, you also get 10 percent cash back on all purchases that are made through Uber and Uber Eats as well. And then you also get complimentary Uber One membership statement credits all the way through November 14, 2024 of this year. Now, let's not forget the fact that Capital One also allows you to add up to five authorized users to this credit card at no additional fee as well. Now, also, if you're looking for additional ways to improve your credit score as you're brand new to building credit, even if you're just rebuilding credit as well, too, is that you can add them or get added if you're 18 years old and you're watching this, you could be added to someone else's credit card as an authorized user, okay? And let's say, for example, you're a parent that's watching this and you say, you know what, what are some additional ways? You can do that by adding them as an authorized user, Many credit cards allow you to do this with ages as low as 13. Some just need a social, okay? And some credit cards are a little bit more strict. They allow you to do it once they're 18 years old or over, okay? But here's some of the benefits is that number one is that it's not their card, but it preps them for the responsibility of having the card, the payments, and et cetera. Number two is that it's already helping them with previous history as well too. So any of the previous credit history that you have on your credit card, you'll be able to add that history to their credit report once you add that on as an authorized user. Next is that you'll be able to give them a card as well too. This is 100% optional. You're not forced to give someone a credit card. There are some requirements as well too, especially if they are a certain age. That's gonna play a role depending on the credit card company that you choose. Another way that you could do this as well is that you can get the credit card and you can add yourself as the authorized user and you'll be able to get easy points and you can manage it for them. I've seen some people do this as well. They get the credit card for their young adult 18 years old plus and then the parent keeps the credit card they manage it for them and then the parent adds themselves as an authorized user they know the bill is going to get paid on time they know that the limits and the balances are going to make sense as well simply because they're managing that credit card for them next let's go into credit cards to run away from now as you're on your credit building journey in general you're going to start getting credit card offers from a lot of different banks so these are some banks that you do not want to do business with okay number one is going to be first per Premier credit card. Next is going to be Credit One Bank credit card. Now let's pause real quick. Credit One Bank, they actually make a ton of money. One of the largest credit card companies that helps a lot of people build credit. The thing is, is that actually they're not a horrible credit card. The problem is they charge fees for everything and that's what makes them a horrible credit card, okay? So for example, 
if you want to get a credit limit increase they're going to charge you a fee if you want to add someone on as an authorized user they're going to charge you a fee they also have an annual fee and then last but not least the worst thing that they have is a non-usage fee yes so that means if you do not use the credit card you will be charged a monthly non-usage fee so that's why a lot of people kind of stay away from them next is going to be first progress and of course secured credit cards now secured credit cards aren't horrible but if you're brand new to credit you shouldn't have to get a secured credit card you can easily get credit cards with no annual fee as i just showed you and then build that up for two to three months and then trust me every credit card after that there's a ton of credit cards that you can get without having additional fees annual fees and all the other things that come with having these types of credit cards by the way if you have some goals that you're looking to accomplish this year like going into home ownership getting a car, leasing a car, lowering your car payment, finally getting that high limit credit card, or just simply improving your credit score, you most definitely want to get more information about my private community. Go ahead and scan this QR code or click the link in the description below.